So let's see how this works with just one motor controlling it all. As you can see, so here's the V-Rex walking. As you can see, the tires are leaning into the legs so they can have the balance. All the motors inside are powered only by one little motor right here. It can also go backwards, but here's the flaw of it. It cannot go sideways. It may only go frontward and backward. But the good news is for the tail that is powered by this leg. Right now, watch the leg. I mean, the, the tail. As you can see, the tail is going up and down. Now look at the little arms that the Trinosaurus Rex, or V-Rex. You can see that they are modified, and, but I, didn't, I only modified the fingers. They're connected to a rubber band, as you can see here, right here, and this moves them up and down. There's another right on the side. So let's watch this now. I think the audience can go up and down. Now let's get to the most interesting part, the draw. So it is powered by one, by this leg again, connected to a little wheel with a rubber band connected to another wheel, which is connected to a sort of piston and is controlling the draw. So as you can see, it opens, and you only pull it one direction, it can open and close. Open and close, and I'm just pulling the same direction. Now let's watch while it runs. Or should I say, walk. Also, it looks a lot like it's going to tip over, but don't worry. The tires have a 75 chance that they'll hold your butt up. So, it kind of matters how lucky you are. Otherwise, thank you for watching the V-Rex. Here's my modified V-Rex. As you can see, there are two LED touch LEDs here and I have one distance sensor right here. My father's program would be the eyes start green, then if the eyes are, if the distance is approximately like this, they would turn red, and if touched, they would turn into blue and he would back away, and soon he would keep on walking with his eyes both blue. Let's do this. So the eyes are green, now they're red. Now, let's get him into the eye. There, he's getting into the eye and he's walking backwards. I need to balance him a little because of overweight, and that's the bad thing about the V-Rex. Otherwise, it's amazing.